Okay. Uh, no, I thought I would you. tell the participants started uh, that uh, that uh, today we are going to talk about integration and uh, all of you must have realized that slowly we are uh, building up the tempo uh, so that we move uh, from uh, the framing of the slos to the framing of the questions and now we are talking about integration and slowly we will take all aspects of the cbme curriculum that need to be covered and that is why and slowly we will be able to complete the uh, the grid with content so far what the mci has given us is a whole uh, empty kind of a grid though it lo looks all bhara hua but it's not it's it's just you know the competencies and uh, which teaching learning methods that we can use but now we're going to take it forward and fill our content with all that is given to us and so now uh, with this brief introduction i would request uh, dr jyoti batra to introduce herself and uh, uh, take us uh, on a journey uh, for the integration of the curriculum wherever uh, we fit in biochemistry fits in so over to you dr jyoti thank you sujeta ma'am for uh, your kind uh, start boost up to the today's lecture uh i am dr jyoti batra i am uh, dean research and professor of biochemistry at santosh deem to be university ghaziabad uh without much ado i would like to start the uh lecture of the today i mean we'll have an interaction it's 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 purely an interaction and uh, we are uh, open to all kind of discussions at the end of the um this session so coming to सर स्लाइड्स नहीं मूव हो रही वेदी सर एक बार जरा सा एस्केप बटन दबा दो कौन सा सर एस्केप एस्केप हाँ वो कर रही हूँ एस्केप पे भी नहीं आ रहा कर आई गिव यू द कंट्रोल नहीं नहीं कुछ नहीं है हुआ जस्ट कभी कभी हो जाता है जस्ट स्टार्टिंग विद लिटल हिट एनी वे दिस इज मॉड्यूल ऑफ फोर्थ four number module of uh, medical council of india under the competency based uh, undergraduate curriculum for the indian medical graduate that is known as alignment and integration on uh, which the whole uh, slos and uh, am i audible sir yes yes okay so uh, it's is based on so as you can see there are different geometrical figures are there which looks very difficult but uh, slowly and gradually as we will take this journey forward these uh, diagrammatic figures geometrical figures will be easier to understand you can uh, also see that there are few keywords here like describe enumerate observe demonstrate communicate i i am sure everyone knows these things uh, these words they are familiar with that so what are the objectives of this session objectives are uh, basically is one that is comprehend develop and implement step wise aligned and integrated curriculum across all the three phases of mbbs now what are the in incongruities of present system we give them uh, we give all our students knowledge we give them uh, technical skills but communication skills decision making evidence based skill emotions ethics and professionalism human value to improve individual patient health and community this is what is missing because this curriculum says that these are also very important for all indian medical graduates to stand at par with the global competencies now this is the need to integration students learn they will see how things fit together fit together in all the three profession professionals 
what is the principle of integration integration implies that concepts in a topic or organ system that are similar overlapping or redundant are merged into a single teaching session in which subject based demarcations are removed so hold this um, whole this definition actually talks about like if if we take an example of uh, hormones in biochemistry we are teaching the same thing in physiology they are teaching the same things this is this is a kind of overlapping and we have to literally go and ask physiology hod oh you have taught this they'll say yes we have already taught this you also taught this so this kind um, and who is the victim victim is the student we are wasting their uh, our, our energy and uh, teaching hours we are we are actually giving redundancy to the students brain also so that is how they are not interested in the in these classes because these are all overlapping how many types of alignments are there first is temporal coordination temporal coordination shows that in the same year same profession how we can have the coordination of different topics or different organ systems or different diseases any 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 one can be taken as a base uh, this thing so what this says it says alignment implies the teaching of subject material that occurs under a particular organ system disease concept from the same phase in the same time that is temporally then comes the linker what is linker it's a session that allows the learner i'm sorry two times it's written here the learner to link the concepts presented in an aligned and integrated topic so this is what we have been doing in anatomy physiology and biochemistry you can see these round different colors circles are there so here also we are uh, teaching the same thing here uh, at the yellow circle at the another yellow circle then then green circle uh, the other green circle comes after three or four lectures blue circle comes somewhere at the second row and then after in the end again the blue circle is being taught similarly in the physiology and biochemistry these are the redundancy which we are doing which we are which, which we were having okay in the traditional curriculum now you can compare how many hours we are using here and how many topics we are doing again and again the colors will show you now once we just sit and decide that these topics we can club together most of them which act need not to be repeated again and again the hours become so beautifully organized and we are giving them a concise knowledge so anatomy physiology biochemistry you can see here how it can be done so this is the perceived relationship of its basis and application now this is first slide that calls um, temporal coordination i would uh, just stop here and i would like to have your comments on the above figure on integration concepts whatever comes to your mind um, we can have uh, a small five uh, two minutes break here uh, if anybody wants to comment of any of these uh, figures geometrical figures uh, can just tell me please raise your hands yes dr hardik yes dr hardik please unmute yourself Dr. Sonali. Yes. Hello. Ma'am, am I, uh, am I yeah. audible? Hello. Yeah. You. Um, yes, you are audible. Ma'am, one B is showing. Uh, one B is showing the uh, 
there are the certain types of uh, integration like sharing multidisciplinary approach nesting among them the one b is showing the sharing right perfect and uh, the, and, uh, and 1d is the multidisciplinary approach in which there is not any discipline specific uh, faculties are not there but the uh, uh, only one thing that uh, for a one specific uh, topic uh, each and every part of the different uh, discipline are taught by uh, uh, togetherly what about 1c any would anyone would like to make any comments on 1c and 1d uh, dr sonal vidya patel yes sir, sir. yes uh, yes sonal good evening sir uh, sir 1b shows sharing 1d shows nesting and 1c anybody wants to comment on 1c hello hello yeah, yeah can i come yeah dr vidya patil here yeah ma'am yeah. uh, 1c is uh, showing correlation that is how we are going to correlate all the topics what we have temporally aligned with uh, some uh, 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 correlation like clinical correlation which can come across the phases which we are going to bring into this particular phase right and 1b yeah yeah sure 1b 1b yeah. is uh, telling about uh, uh, the sharing of the yes. topics uh, no no 1d 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 is uh, showing something like nesting wherein we are bringing in uh, the concept it's uh, the same concept which is uh, uh, done in the other uh, subject into our subject so that uh, it is it gets aligned with whatever basic science i am teaching so that it it is the topic is nested on to at the present may i speak yeah yeah uh, sure. one a is the current condition over where yeah. each department is separate one mm -hmm. b shows the correlation or integration level which is the starting phase uh, that says that uh, departmentals are aligning and uh, getting converge towards the learner once he shows that the center at the center is the learner all are coming together and tele, uh, teaching or uh, giving on a com coming on a single topic while 1d where learner is the center there is no such thing as departmental different activities only faculties will come on specifically project on the uh, on the particular topics okay so let's go one by one to what we have seen so one a is alignment that is called temporal coordination which we have already done the timetable is adjusted so that topics within the subjects or disciplines which are related are scheduled at the same time aligning could be done as organ based system or topic or disease based so for example syllabi in cardiovascular system or respiratory system in anatomy physiology and biochemistry can be scheduled simultaneously in the timetable and how a topic such as acute myocardial infarction or tuberculosis can be created with relevant learning that will lead to the understanding of these topics so a student will learn whatever about th this topic in detail now if if desired the major alignment can be organ system based with incorporation of some specific topics that will lend itself to integration for example in cv organ system the major alignment is with two topics acute myocardial infarction and heart failure so here we can have the integration with medicine people now what is sharing two disciplines may agree to plan and jointly implement a teaching program like i was telling in the case of hormone teaching physiology and uh, biochemistry can sit together and share the teaching load 
So there is no redundancy. Then comes the correlation. Correlation is the emphasis remains on disciplines or subjects with subject based courses taking up most of the curriculum time. Within this framework, an integrated teaching session course is introduced in addition to subject based teaching. So you can see a green box with the red water. That's, that gives an idea about what correlation is all about. So in this framework, an integrated teaching session is designed. Then comes nesting. What is nesting? Here the teacher targets within a subject based course skills relating to other subjects also. So you can see here like different different color big boxes or big squares are there and again those colored small squares are there in bigger squares. So it is kind of a nesting of all the topics, organs, um, uh, years, professions, professionals. So all you can see there is a red uh, uh, square line, outline is there, which is showing how nesting is being done. You can see that small blue square in the peach one and the again the small other more uh, some, uh, small square blue square in a next light peach section. So all of this is called nesting where teacher has to target within a subject based course. Now how this we have we, we now we know about all these things now how these things are progressing. This is called progression of integration. So if you start like here this is what we are here isolation this this is what we have been doing till 2019 okay A awareness comes we talk to each other we harmonize and then it happens nesting happens temporal coordination is there. the timetable is adjusted so that the topics within the subjects or disciplines which are are scheduled at the same time so this is how the integration is being progressed second slide if you come isolation again awareness harmonization nestling in the last slide the temporal coordination was at this end only but here in the next slide you will see that this is also adjusted into the timetable what is sharing two discipline may agree to plan and jointly implement a teaching program we know how it is done again this is the correlation now here how it fits into the system how it is uh, it is going to fit in the curriculum the emphasis remains on the discipline or subjects with subject course, uh, based courses taking up most of the color curriculum time within this framework an integrated teaching session or course is introduced in adding in addition to subject based teaching which we have already done in a previous slide that this is the correlation and the green box shows how the uh, all the four isolation um, isolated uh, squares have been coordinated as far as common knowledge is concerned now this is a new term that complementary integrated sessions now represent a major feature of the curriculum at this point when we have reached up to this now the integrated sessions are there they, they these are going to represent a major feature of the curriculum so isolation awareness harmonization nestling temporal coordination we are talking about correlation sharing and the complementary sessions so this is how the approach to integration is. These were different steps which you have just gone through, how we have reached here. So this is taken up from the MCI booklet only, which they, where they say, what should be the approach to the integration? So they have given yes to some points and no to some points. Like, in, can the competencies be achieved together with similar competencies in the other subjects? You can see that downwards it says yes. If you will choose one strategy for alignment, 
aligned competency organ system or disease based which we are, we call temporal coordination then list the competencies in that disease based approach to integration under their perspective subjects in each phase for each phase review the competencies of all the subjects and reduce the redundancy review the competencies from other phases and mark which of these needs reinforcement enforcement or introduction to the current phase so you can see that all are coming in a very aligned fashion and all the redundancy is being reduced to some extent and more and more we revise it we review it we are going to slowly reduce the redundancy to a maximum level now create formative uh, create learning sessions right objectives method of instructions create a linker or integrated session where learners can integrate concepts learnt in the blocks so generally linker sessions are the case studies where it can cover and coordinate all the concepts which we have studied on the uh, we have just gone through in the left side allocate self directed learning time for preparation or assignments that will strengthen students ability to integrate the topic and create formative assessment sessions for end of each assessment include non aligned and integrated uh, points also it says no to ensure that these are allotted specific times and running parallel to the aligned curriculum those which cannot be aligned together those where we cannot do any kind of sharing those where we cannot do any kind of uh, correlation nesting of course cannot happen so in the curriculum these portions have to be allotted specific time and they have to be running in the parallel fashion of whatever curriculum we are going to design after these points have been taken into consideration then the timetable is prepared with non aligned for each subject aligned section integrated sessions and self directed learning and formative assessments now one has to ensure the curriculum committee has to ensure integrity of total hours recommended for each subject integrated teaching and self directed learning use in time allotted for linkers and portions of other phase competencies so this is a very concise table which is there in this booklet and that gives us a guideline how to prepare the curriculum aligned curriculum proper aligned curriculum now what should be the strategy every every uh, curriculum when you have to decide you have to decide on a strategy what they have suggested from mci booklet again choose a method organ system or disease based in small proportions that is around 20% of the total curriculum either share or correlate using an integration or linker session most preferred will be the case based discussions as linker sessions because they cover all the professionals all the uh, years first year second year mini prof prof so i mean that will give you a complete coordinated study whether it's whether whether you talk about temporal coordination or sharing or correlation or nesting it is covered there and it it it, it helps uh, to link all these alignments now what should be the considerations for using alignment and integration in curriculum this is another example competency and objective cannot be aligned with a similar topic in a different subject for example here we have taken lower limb anatomy and dissection it has to be in the same phase and it has to be taught separately can be taught together in different sessions in the same topic for example beta cell histology in anatomy beta cell function in physiology and structure and secretion of insulin in biochemistry so it can be aligned so there has there uh, what what this will be uh, known as which type of alignment it will be 
in the same phase what do we do which alignment anyone temporal alignment sorry i couldn't hear Tem sorry temporal but... alignment very good temporal coordination perfect can then can be taught in the same session in the same topic for example sharing functions of hepatocyte in physiology and bilirubin metabolism in biochemistry then this can be shared for example again nesting present the clinical features laboratory data of the patient with dubin johnson syndrome in a session on bilirubin metabolism so how beautifully everything has been shared in the same phase with the student so sharing has been done in the same phase and nesting has been in the different phase so here you can in 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 the different phase it can be recalled or if it is in the same first phase of uh, mbbs curriculum it can be given as an interesting case so that at least their basics are strengthened because whenever the, a case study is given and the bases are being uh, discussed it makes much more interesting it makes to it 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 actually holds the students attention and their uh, basic knowledge is improved they find it uh, really interesting to uh, participate then can be used to link con uh, concepts taught in a particular topic for example a patient with type 1 diabetes is used to understand the function of pancreatic islet sec uh, secretion and metabolism so again the different phases that can be correlated so what is correlation we can very clearly see here that this emphasis remains on disciplines or subjects with subject based course taking up most of the curriculum time within this framework an integrated teaching session or course is introduced where we can tell the student about a uh, with a kind of linker session like a case study where the correlation will be very interesting for them to remember for us to teach because most of the class will be interested when it is it is actually surrounded by a case study now this is how alignment happens in phase 1 phase 2 and phase 3 so this yellow color boxes are the topics which are being aligned this is called very nicely told by some participants temporally coordinated now redundancy can also be reduced by creating a session merging session objectives from two or more subjects and creating a shared section so that you can see here boxes with the red outline so where there is um little redundancy is there it can be reduced by merging these sections uh, sessions objectives so in one session it can be taught here in the phase 3 it has been shown by green box with red outline now this is a very good example of increased correlation which can be achieved by a linker you can see here a box with the purple outline which linker i i told you that it has to be generally a case with sufficient complexity from the same topic from a higher phase you can see from third phase the red arrow is coming to the phase 1 and it is used to anchor the learning so phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 and this is the shared topic this is the linker the, the with purple uh, outline and rest are the unaligned topics which has to be taught separately now again it can be you can see here that these topics are aligned in different phases which we have already seen now how beautifully it can be linked the green area shows the linking activity and from where to where phase 2 to phase 3 and phase 1 to phase uh, phase 2 to phase 1 and phase 3 to phase 1 it can be done 
so that is giving you the an idea about the linking activity which which can go from phase 2 to uh, 3 to phase 1 this can go like this also appropriate concepts from other phases can be brought into phase to increase relevance at a lower phase or increase prior recall so the arrows which are going from phase 1 to phase 2 are give are increasing the prior recall and the arrows which are going from phase 2 to phase 1 or phase 3 to phase 2 they are increasing the um, of course the prior recall and the other arrow is giving the relevance to a, at a lower phase from the linker case study to the higher phase this is done by nesting some learning objectives from the topic in other phase into a learning session so this is you can see here how beautifully this is all coordinated aligned and by nesting it can be recalled or it can be brought to a from a uh, lower phase uh, from a higher phase to lower phase also as you can see here in from the purple gray, yellow box with a purple outline from phase three it is being brought to phase two okay so it can be either way and nesting can be done so that learner finds it very interesting to understand remember correlate and have interested now phase based objectives are given primacy necessary correlates from other phases must also be introduced while discussing a topic in a given subject this is called nesting after that assessment will continue to be the subject based and phase appropriate correlates are also tested now what are the different steps to begin with step one identify a list of topics or organ systems that will be accommodated in the timetable as aligned and integrated topics so here we are talking about temporal coordination organ systems can be cardiovascular system gastrointestinal system endocrine system etc at the end of um, this booklet mci has given a single page where they have they have given number of topics that can be aligned now these uh, um, organ systems sorry and the topics could be anemia febrile illnesses trauma etc then step two once this is done step two says from the subject wise competency document book developed by the mci transfer the competencies that address the topic into the sorry into the into a template that book has been uh, is, is on their website competency document book book is developed by them and then the competencies that address that particular topic can be transferred now step three for each competency derive learning objectives which we are going to do later everyone has is actually very uh, enthusiastically in their groups are uh, starting this work uh, on the competencies uh, being um, given to them learning sessions and assessment methods what is a learning session is created by putting together a bunch of objectives that can be accomplished in the allotted time and or require a similar method of instruction a bunch of learning sessions that are put together that address the topic from different subjects in the phase from form an aligned and integrated topic ai o step four now review competencies from the previous phase that will bear reinforcement enforcement in the current phase similarly review competencies in the next higher phases to explore if some of these require introduction in present phase integration sessions allotted in each phase may be used to deliver these competencies so it is like we have been doing this by showing these different diagrams like this this is how it is going there then you can see here from higher phase to lower phase from lower phase to higher phase so we have reached here 
to integrated sessions. Now, what should be the step five? Consider adding a linker to each AI topic. A line topic, you, you can add a linker. Linker generally is a case study. By reviewing objectives and competencies or competencies in a phase, redundant ones and those in each subject that can be taught together without a subject demarcation. This is called horizontal integration, which we are doing horizontal integration in the first pro. Then similarly, by reviewing objectives or competencies across the phases, those with a common thread can be also identified and known as vertical integration. Objective writing and session planning must be done with teachers of all subjects involved in aligned and integrated topic and their inputs taken for the integrated session. It is important to remember that the concept and not necessarily teachers have to be integrated. This is a very um, in interesting and important point which MCI has given. It's not necessary that medicine person has to come and teach. What they, can, they can simply sit together or have a con call and prepare a chapter where all the necessary concepts have been integrated. And the teacher from the preclinical only can discuss this in the class. Now, objective writing and session planning must be done with teachers of all subjects involved in the aligned and integrated topic sessions. Okay, this is done. Using different teachers in each integrated session is nice, but it is not always required. As I am saying that we can, as on the level of the teachers, it can be discussed and combined and delivered to the students or discussed with the students. Now comes the step six. It says ensure that adequate time for the block is created in the timetable. Very important. And it is important to consider the inclusion of an end of block assessment that will count towards formative or internal assessment. While creating the timetable, ensure the topic in each subject that cannot be aligned are also have to be taught simultaneously in each subject and that the timetable accommodate these topics appropriately. These are few integration topics which I have uh, been telling you. MCI booklet has given these uh, 11 topics which can be integrated at different levels, whether it's a horizontal or vertical integration. Now, how this, this also I have been taken from MCI booklet, and this is how it has to be done in a system. Curriculum committee, which forms the topic or the teams. For example, anemia block, trauma block. Each block team should have representation from each phase and from subjects represented in the block. Has to be made sure that all paced teachers are there. Each topic team is in charge of a topic. Then topic team reviews competencies for the block and assigns competencies to the phases. For each phase, the topic team develops learning objectives and from these learning and assessment methods and sessions are designed. Topic team liaises with phase CSE to create space in the calendar. Topic team also provides implementation support. So like each topic team is in charge of a topic. For example, anemia block, trauma block, CAD block. Competencies across the phases are reviewed. Allocation is done with the following in mind. Clinical correlation are required in earlier phases to provide relevance to learning basic uh, to learning learning is very important here basic sciences is required in later phases to improve recall and provide the scientific basis of management so biochemistry has to be there when they are studying about medicine objectives are derived from competencies learning sessions and 
by putting the appropriate bunch of objectives together so these are the different timelines different um, um, guidelines which have been given the phase teams will help the block team to create space in the calendar the block team provides support to the departments and phase teams which identifies faculty and the support needs it provides student support as needed and it collects feedback about the block so taking feedback is also very important if we if we are just designing something and we are not taking any kind of feedback and not improving based on that feedback there is no use of starting any new system this is how you have to find a space in the calendar it is i'm just giving an example that how it is designed for example for an in, uh, integrated teaching in anemia how it has to be designed it's a very small minuscule it is written but i have also uh, taken it from uh, some reference i have not prepared it's this on my own but i have taken it from some reference book now what are learning outcomes statement indicating the end result of a learner following a learning activity what is that is called as observable behavior this everyone knows so many times uh, before uh, making your competencies for biochemistry you have done it in the last year everyone knows about this pyramid what is uh, uh, this is not uh, under my uh, this session to do it but uh, just because the continuity has to be maintained i have just put one slide like this using anemia as an example to create an aligned and integrated topic so this is your homework you can do this you can choose any of the topics from the biochemistry of your choice i am just giving you one topic which is there you can choose any of the topic as an example and then you can create an aligned and integrated topic of out of that mci is given 11 topics there you can choose any of these 11 topics any one of these topics and create an aligned and integrated topic out of that now small group teachings how how it should be given to the students stage 1 demonstration of skill at normal speed with little or no explanation stage 2 repetition of skill with full explanation encouraging the learner to ask questions then comes the stage 3 which is advanced the demonstrator performs the skill for a third time with the learner providing the explanation of each step and being questioned on key issues the demonstrator provides necessary corrections this step may need to be repeated several times until the demonstrator is satisfied that the learner fully understands the skill and finally learner is now so able that it, he or she can carry out the skill under close supervision describing each step before it is taken so that is how the stage wise they have to be empowered there are different methods of teaching everyone knows we have all done small group teaching tutorial where where the patents method is to uh, is the method to take the feedback basically to instruct small group of students in skill lab training session pardon me for the spelling mistake so it it is a kind of feedback mechanism now how to create linkers what are the common problems that the indian medical graduate will have to work with as physician of first content contact in com community these are the basic issues which every in img has to work with whether it's anemia in children if we talk about anemia anemia in children anemia in pregnancy anemia in adults to what level of proficiency recognition of the disease evaluation management and referral all these levels have to be proficiently managed then cases case creation an infant with repeated blood transfusion anemia and jaundice how the case will be created how these all these proficiencies have to be fulfilled similarly 
pregnant women with iron deficiency anemia an adult alcoholic with gi bleed a patient with polytrauma and acute blood, blood loss in all these cases how the cases are created on one topic that is anemia so there are so much that can be done as far as linkers are concerned and they are going to link actually all the phases making it interesting and nesting the whole knowledge together these are the references which i have gone through to prepare this slide show and uh, i acknowledge uh, the cisp program of mci the booklet of mci which i have used for preparing these slides thank you so much i am open to whatever i can discuss with you hello hello uh, yes please raise your hands i mean it was really an uh, excellent uh, session dr jyoti thank you so much I mean, sir uh, dr vidya patel and dr ruchi khare yes, yes dr ruchi khare Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yes, I did. Yeah. It's Dr. Ruchir Khare here. Uh, yeah. Ma'am, thank you very much for so much uh, full of knowledge presentation uh, in such a small time. Uh, uh, I have just one small confusion. Maybe everybody is now having a clear concept of, about it. But I am still confused about uh, nesting and linker. Can you please explain it again? yeah nesting actually is done through linker okay Link so linker may be linker. A, a small portion of a topic which can be integrated with other department to uh, uh, to provide nesting am i right yeah it can be any skill it can be any skill it can be any case study i mean it's a part of nesting only nesting only actually is done through linkers okay ma'am and it is uh, necessary it is not necessary to uh, give linker to the student to uh, call the teachers of other uh, other streams no, no as you have mentioned in one yeah, slide. yeah. because uh, correlation it otherwise it's not possible for them they are clinicians most of the time which don't have uh, actually um, i mean they cannot come and teach uh, all the time they are busy with their opds their surgeries and all that so it can be discussed at the teacher to teacher level and um, it can be taken up the whole knowledge can be taken up and the concepts can be discussed by pre clinical teacher if it is possible for them to come and teach wonderfully well okay ma'am actually what i have felt that whenever we arrange any in, an integrated session the time constant is always there because we are not we were not able to complete it in within one hour which is the allotted to time for a didactic lecture yeah so that is where we have to work more and more like um, how much discussion has to be there reduce all the redundancy the more you reduce the percentage of redundancy the time management will be easier for you and it cannot happen okay. in one believe me because for yes, them also for us also it, uh, it's new and we are actually learning with our students at the same level yes ma'am actually when we have <laughs> yes ma'am actually when uh, uh, we have arranged uh, one uh, integrated session then some of the person from uh, medicine side told me that uh, why have you called me because uh, if i can teach diabetes i can teach the investigation of diabetes also i don't need you to come and teach the student about the investigation related to the diabetes so why can't you teach the symptoms so then then only i thought that i will uh, 
prepare a case of diabetes or i will uh, take a patient from the uh, ward or the opd of diabetes and explain each and every symptoms to the student matlab more of like case based learning is so it okay ma'am it, it will not come this, under the pardon ma'am this is the linker this is the link okay ma'am okay, okay. yeah now 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 it's very clear to me thank you very much ma'am uh doctor everyone else yes uh, doctor nag lakshmi yes doctor hardik uh ma'am i want to ask that uh, there is the role of alignment in integration team it is uh, just uh, during the making the timetable of uh, the whole uh, one year curriculum of this that specific phase or uh, at the each and every monthly or uh, quarterly it is needed to review each and every alignment and integration topic and that look uh, the topics can be reviewed but once you have made the curriculum i have i have given you one idea that you have to fit find space in the calendar so you have to do all the meetings till you reach this space because otherwise if you are creating new things so for that particular batch finding space in your calendar will be difficult meetings uh, can so be done you can always improve for the next coming batch uh, so it should be done before the that uh, whole year curriculum or whole year timetable yes. we are creating yes. before that it, it, it is be... a, it is a yearly process it is a yearly process you can always improve so it's not, i'm not saying that you cannot have your interactions yeah. until only <laughs> Have interaction. You cannot uh, prepare the uh, improvements for the next year. Yeah. You can, but finding space in your that calendar will be difficult. Okay. okay. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Doctor Nagarajmi. Uh, hello, ma'am. May I speak? Uh, am I audible? Yeah. Okay, uh, ma'am. If suppose we are integrating a topic uh, with uh, a subject in the second phase and another subject in the third phase or whatever, do you suggest us that we should cover the topic from our side first, and then uh, they will come and teach about that uh, uh, field, or can uh, we directly give it to them? Like suppose, uh, like we are integrating on immunity or immune response, vaccine development, and all that. um so should we teach the students from our side first and then integrate uh, and then ask the other persons to come and take over or should we directly give it to them there should be a session of uh, both of you before you start uh, start the class it has to be discussed amongst yourself and to okay. to reduce the redundancy how much this whole thing is just to reduce that redundant things okay. which we again okay. and again to the children so that has okay. to be you have to emphasize on that it should not be repeated it's very difficult okay. to actually take have the attention of these students for uh, say effective 45 minutes even okay. if we not make it interesting we are gone okay okay ma'am thank you ma'am uh, dr shri devi good evening ma'am yeah good evening uh, ma'am actually anemia we had an integrated teaching last year uh, yeah. we used to do it in the afternoon session 2 to 4 uh, 2 to 4 like one integrated teaching in one semester like uh, first mm -hmm. six months one integrated teaching. so when we took i took up the topic of anemia so myself uh, from the department of biochemistry and from the pathology department and uh, medicine department we integrated the topic together actually yeah. i asked the physician to start off the topic uh, with the clinic uh, case and with the clinical features okay he mm -hmm. started the topic 
then uh, pathophysiology uh, from the pathology department the hod has taken the pathophysiology mm -hmm. then finally mm -hmm. i spoke about the iron deficiency anemia how is it absorbed and all those and at the end again the physician has come back to speak about the treatment aspect so we did mm -hmm. it like that can it be done like that ma'am or is there any other way of doing it uh, yeah it is it can be done like that but uh, i uh, i think it's my opinion actually personally if any physiologist would have been there uh, a little bit about um, hemoglobin and uh, all those things have been uh, integrated into this otherwise it's perfectly fine um, but uh, i have um, nimriti ma'am and sucheta ma'am they can always comment and tell us and give a better idea about it ma'am am i audible yes ma'am yeah yeah you are that that, is, that good uh, module so you have to only identify suppose uh, dr jyoti has said you could have got a physiologist also yes so i think that which all with, with which all departments you will like to integrate but one problem that comes that not essentially that every time a clinic will be available and will be so nice really to come and do for immunology once we tried a full module we involved the microbiologists we brought dr malvia and so on. but they never had the time dr ramesh kumar came and but his angle was entirely as much much as he does in biology not the basic immunology as we so ultimately we had to drop that module because students felt that the way we are teaching they are more so it one has to really identify the people identify the department where the integration is possible and when really a serious job can be done. like the module can be made and there the objectives can be made and this these objectives will be with the supposed the medicine these these objectives will be covered by the physiology it will be covered by the biochemistry like that a module can be made and that will make the yeah, also i feel uh, you know there is no need for us to do uh, team teaching uh, the yes, team exactly. the team can uh, you know uh, earlier only decide what aspect of physiology or uh, yes, sure. medicine yes. or any such thing has to be touched or has to be uh, uh, emphasized that can be uh, decided earlier itself so yeah, that you don't have too many people then in yeah, one hour exactly. one half, uh, it is very difficult for you to uh, you know um, yeah. have so many people come in and out so that is an example of team teaching but in this case when you are uh, integrating the whole uh, a topic one person can be the main person who will present it after having understood what really needs to be done from the other people of the team so there is no hodgepodge and there is uh, uh, you know no, no, too many people are not saying too many different things so that there is just uh, because you know at uh, pre clinical level we must realize that we are just uh, sensitizing the students to yes. everything we don't want to over bear them with too many things correct okay right. it will help right correct uh, that one person because we uh, are having consulted the physiologist the medical person the, 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 the pathologist brings in the idea and the nuances of the topic that is my take on the integration part. yeah that's perfectly fine the same way i was telling them I'm like wow. one has to put it together as faculty we first and discuss and biochemistry only can do it there's no need for us yeah, to bring it yeah dr rohini bhadre dr rohini bhadre ma'am please unmute uh madam i just want to ask ki whether the aico topic that we take should the same topic be carried out over the three years three phases can you repeat your question suppose i pick up like your topic for the uh, first phase same topic we are going to continue up till the third phase yes. no? the aito topic hmm 
Don't don't. I mean, you are talking about the integration from phase one to phase three and uh, yes, yes, and where we are taking those eleven topics out of the eleven topics. Yeah, we have to select one. That again, you yeah, can again use you those as baseline. And yeah. You know, if we take so can you use you the, the final year? Right. The final yeah is it you right? have to see, yeah yeah you have to see where the integration take place which topics can be integrated and which cannot so those topics obviously has to be uh, reinforced in second phase and third phase or can be recalled from first phase in the third phase so that though is uh, can be done no no in that linker also that we use we can use the yes. same linker with additional a uh, baseline using the same baseline linker we can add up on to it no can yeah. you correct if i am if i am wrong yeah yeah okay means uh, we can use that same linker till the last phase linker is if you are using a case you yeah, can yeah. modify the case, the case of the student is increasing like the same huh. linker uh, you are using in phase 1 but the knowledge yeah. in the phase is improving you have to yeah. create a Change linker the, which covers yeah. all that information so that that has to be seen okay thank you ma'am nice presentation thank you uh, doctor uh, yes okay all the hands which were up have gone down suddenly Yes, Doctor Sri Devi Nagalakshmi uh, Chandra Lekha. Yes, it's our Doctor Doctor Chandra Shekhar. Doctor uh, Chandra Shekhar, please unmute. Hello. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Um, I'm regarding this anemia topic, ma'am. You told like, sir, whether. Hello. Hello. Doctor Chandrasekhar, oh. net connection is very slow. It's getting getting better. Yes. Sir, we can continue on the chats after this. Yes. Yes, I think we can end it here. It's a dinner time everywhere. Hello. Hello. Yes, please. Yeah, ma'am. Hello. We're talking about anemia topic, yeah. Yeah, ma'am. Regarding this anemia topic, is up to especially for the first year student. Whether it's compulsory mm -hmm. to take the clinician to come and talk regarding this anemia and all. No, it's not. as sujeta ma'am also told and uh, sunibriti ma'am also told we, at the faculty level it can be discussed it's very difficult for them to every time and uh, teach as per as our schedule na they are very busy so we can discuss with them take their points and on our level because once the class is taken up by one teacher students are into that flow the second teacher will come he, the methodology will change again there is disturbance so i mean no no the thing is suppose suppose if the clinician comes whether to, to call for the physician or call for the pharmacologist there then it depends on which what you are covering which which uh, area of that anemia you are covering you understand you are talking about the the pharmacologist has to talk about the medicines only Right. Can I just chip in, uh, Madam, if possible? Yeah, sure. sure. Hello. Yeah, yeah. The, the answer to that question is uh, the MCI booklet, Volume One. They've already given which are the sub departments we have to coordinate with. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. The, they have already the topic. So I think we don't have any doubt. Like we have to call the person or not because it's already given. But what we have yeah, to assign topic to them, we have to select and, it based and on. And they the, have made it. they have they have written very clearly that not every alignment is required they have given a stipulated number that this many is are essential rest it depends on you hmm yes yes ma'am this is very clearly written in the book yeah. 
so madam uh, i have uh, i am dr chitra uh, yeah. the the presentation is very clear and uh, as i feel that as we are going through all these modules sir uh, repeatedly we are understanding is getting more clearer so what is my concept for like what i have understood is first year what we are giving the subjects we have to deliver a content in the first year and then we are going to phase 2 phase 3 when you are moving across we are going to deliver the content according to the requirement of the student at that level but that right. may not be a part of the exams but when you are doing the delivery in the first year of for your students the content you mm -hmm. deliver in the uh, phase should be complete and exam oriented yes what we do in phase 2 and phase 3 with uh, or gynecology or ophthalmology or medicine in the next yeah, phases are we are reinforcing our subject yeah it is you are making it you are reducing removing the redundancy you are making it more interesting for the student to understand when there is a case based yeah. study always and very very interesting for all of them so many areas you can discuss with one case yes so that one i had to want to clear because uh, many questions were in that line so when first year we have to deliver the content of our subject that is integration horizontal or vertical but when we go into the second year third year when they call us that phases in the second year student we have to deliver for reinforcement yes the curriculum is very clear for that yes ma'am yes. so thank you that doubt i was always having that lingering doubt in my mind uh, but now uh, it's got clear clarified thank you very much ma'am I hope there are no more questions, sir. Can we? Uh, Ma'am, I have a doubt. Yeah. Uh, myself, Dr. Nagalakshmi. Uh, Ma'am, in um, many situations of alignment of topics uh, within the three subjects of one phase, like for example, anat, physio, and biochemistry, like you told us about uh, integrating with respect to the disease system. Suppose we are trying to uh, focus on the cardiovascular disease, and the mm -hmm. uh, 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 anatomy people are teaching the thoracic part of it, the heart part of it, and the physiology people are teaching serious part of it. Mm -hmm. but uh, what if we have not yet completed the enzymes and the isoenzymes part of it like there is no point in teaching the isoenzymes or uh, the enzyme markers of cardiac uh, disease or atherosclerosis matter unless we have taught them enzymes there is no meaning to the temporal uh, um, sequence of topics that we take in our own subject unless we have taught them the basics we cannot take them to a further step what if those people have already planned the cvs and the heart and uh, we have not yet taught them the enzymes and how can we actually align our topic with those weeks so that is the whole basis of curriculum committee sitting there and then making the timetable <laughs> you understand a whole uh, this thing uh, i have shown you one uh, chart that how the yeah. curriculum has to start from each department from each uh, uh, this thing a phase uh, to the second phase and to the third phase how they have to coordinate so these kind of problems so that has to be discussed we our work starts actually 6 months back uh, when the batch is about to come yes ma'am okay thank milab you milab vasu this is the last question dr milab Uh, uh it is just a, not a question sir uh, it is just a experience uh this is what happens when we try to align our subject because uh, as mem said there are two parts uh, either we go to the topic wise uh, means uh, uh, part wise or we go system wise and in this process our subject itself gets totally destroyed so how to co come over that because students what we uh, we have filled this time uh, when we tried this uh, uh, because this time we have gone with the art system means uh, upper limb lower limb likewise and our whole subject has destroyed in this part if we try to follow the anatomy or physiology so students are right now are in a very bad condition that uh, how to prepare the subject 
when because uh, still in our university there is no confirm uh, uh, paper style or anything else has come up so students are right now going back to the basic system of their what their seniors are telling them just start the system wise whatever it has been taught and just link it over wise so how to overcome this that's the problem yeah very rightly actually pointed out it's a very uh, uh, important uh, problem which has to be discussed uh, ma'am anything any ta your take on this because Sir, it's uh, a problem uh, yeah, you should only uh, you know so, contact the board of studies or the university okay. and uh, ask them to give uh, you know uh, give you all a paper pattern okay ma'am because it is you uh, know it is us who make the university no it is yeah, all yes, of us yes, together are there so if someone has not done it it is up to us teachers to uh, sort of voice it and say and not you know say it nicely that uh, look this is what is happening people are the students don't know how to how to you know even organize their thoughts no if they know a paper pattern ki do lqs honge ki nahi to char that is the problem right now Hmm. Yeah. How many marks each one will contain? You know, whether it is ten marks or fifteen marks. <laughs> the students are in a dilemma. So you contact the university now. And don't Because, be afraid. Because uh, what is uh, what we had done was that uh, before all the system started, we have gone through the basic stuff of vitamins every time uh, initially, and then we again rolled back and again taught them the vitamins by uh, disease. according to when how and where their anatomy or physiology system comes so it was so much difficult to go again and repeat and everything was so much jarred that students said we already know these things and we didn't know anything about this this was the problem <laughs> oh but now hopefully na the, maybe this one year has been quite bad yeah. you will you know things will improve and right now just contact your university uh ma'am i cannot i think we can close i am we are it's a dinner time uh, i mean many of you must be uh, family must be waiting i'm uh, waiting ma'am just one last question if it's okay sir yes ma'am okay so, uh, is there a uh, cut off on the percentage of the aligned topic which has to be maintained like uh, we say 20% of the topic has to be integrated so yeah. is there a, a minimum uh, um, level of alignment which needs to be uh, maintained across the phases because uh, uh, between anatomy and physiology most of it will get aligned hmm. but not with the so do we have to meet certain number no it's actually booklet have very beautifully defined defined this you have to go through that booklet where all the competencies and the vertical and the horizontal alignment is being given it will be it is very very clearly given there but uh, most of the time that. we don't fall uh, uh, correctly in alignment with anatomy and physiology they both go uh, organ system wise and uh, organ wise we, we have to we have to prepare biochemistry has to come forward put their foot down and we have to fight for our rights okay ma'am go about Thank it you. okay well said <laughs> okay uh, thank you we can continue the discussion on the whatsapp group 24 by 7 and uh, uh, i'm sure many uh, points will arise on the whatsapp group also yeah sure sir uh, good night good night thank you bye. dr tanju devi dr jyoti thank you ma'am Thank you, Dr. Jyoti. I have been on the Excel many times, but this was a class part. Thank you so much to all senior members. I really am learning a lot. Thank you.